Look at the floods, and Mandera is one oh. of the counties that um, is experiencing this. We've lost lives in Kiambu, Machakos, Nairobi, Kirinyaga, just to mention but a few. Uh, Oswahili wanasemanga msiba uliojitakia haina kilio. Mm. We decided to pick our own uh, sword and kill ourselves. Why am I saying that? The corruption that has gone into us has, eaten, has started eating us because uh, we blocked the nature. You block nature, nature will go into react and uh, work on you. Even if it is not today, tomorrow, you're going to see things which ha are not normal within um, the environment that we did. Mm. That will be a calamity for us. Because of our uh, own actions. Be because of our own action. Why am I saying that? You know, our earth is, uh, you know, designed in a manner that it has a place where the hill is, it has a place where the rivers are, and it has a place where the plain lands are. And of course there is a forest. And all those play a great role in, uh, in keeping us safe. Ourselves, the people, the creatures who live there. If we interfere with any of the ecosystem, then just know that it's a matter of time. It's some, a time bomb that awaits us, which uh, if it comes, then it will be very difficult for us to recover from it. For example, all our rivers are locked in Nairobi. We have built skyscrapers uh, on the rivers. Just imagine heavy water coming every year, uh, cleaning up the salinity of uh, the soil, mm -hmm. and then the soil becomes loose. The more water passes through there, it becomes loose. What will happen eventually? Those skyscrapers will start sinking if they don't collapse immediately, depending on how the architecture of uh, their buildings were strengthened. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, they will either sink in or they are going to, they are going to collapse or fall. And therefore, the current crisis that we see at the shabbats of the city, or within the city, or at the county levels, is because our own plans, city plans, have been very poor. And this is a collective responsibility. It is not one individual that you can blame. You will find people saying. So long as Nipeleke Huko Kartaziangu approve you, Sinitarijilipia Pesa. You know, this is the language Kenyans use when they want to go and secure a uh, government document. What are they trying to tell you? Is that they will not want to put a, 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 into any consideration anything that will going to be the consequences of uh, those actions they are doing. For example, now, you, you have seen in Siokimau, you have seen uh, this building called 360 where yesterday the government all were there. Mm. It's a river which passes there. Mm. And if you know the history of that building, it's one of the senior government officers who, who built that uh, structure and he has sold And to, he was given approvals. Yes, yes, yes. And he has sold to innocent Kenyans. We know him very well. He has given to, uh, he, has, he has been given approval. He built that place. He sold off to innocent Kenyans. Now. He has collected his money and made the profit he wanted to make, but Kenyans are suffering today. For those who decided to buy a home there and mm -hmm. thought that they have secured uh, a long-lasting uh, uh, home for, for their family, that is not the case because now they have to be evacuated mm -hmm. and those structures have to be demolished. Who will going to return their, um, their hard earnings that they put in that investment? God knows. Because in Kenya, uh, even if... Um, you are given something and uh, that thing does not work, you have nowhere to return it back. Mm. It's the nature of our nation that we don't consider the person who become uh, a victim of circumstance to be given back uh, his, uh, his property. And yet the person who will still be protected is the one who has sold to them, who will have returned back those monies of uh, the, those Kenyans. And they are over almost a, a thousand households. Mm. It's not a very few people we are talking about.